Welcome back to St. Anton, Austria and the world's 14th interski. It's a fabulous week-long celebration. And as host country, Austria is the first to demonstrate here in St. Anton. And you know, Steve, just up the road is St. Christoph, and that's the home of the Bundesportheim. And it's also where the Austrian interski team is based. It's kind of like a university for ski instructors. And that's where Professor Hofmikla has had considerable influence over the years. He's what we call the Dean of Austrian Ski Technique. No doubt this is a big moment for him, as well as the entire Arlberg ski region. Let's take a look at the Austrian demonstration. Well, this is an exciting start for the opening run for the Austrians. These guys are really cooking down here. That's a steep hill. They're really carving it up well. And as a first team, they really have to set the tone for the week. And as host country, they do have more members on their team, which makes this presentation even more difficult. They're very complicated, but well done. Very well done. Oh, here we go, celebrating 100 years of alpine ski technique. And you know, Steve, these skiers are apparently skiing on the original old equipment. Well, I have to celebrate the fact that they've improved it since then. This is extremely yeah. difficult skiing, and they're, they're doing a great job. Can you imagine what it would take to turn those boards? A lot of hard work. From 100-year-old technique to the latest in racing technique, these youngsters are going through a course of rapid gates that are cut off. Here they are practicing rounder turns, showing how you have to progress to be a little faster, a little better. Now these youngsters are good little skiers, and Steve, these are what we call stubbies, right? That's right, you go from the stubbies to the long gates, like this guy's demonstrating. He's an excellent skier. I expect to see him on World Cup one year. Good edging skills. Look at that. Oh, now here we see the Austrians at their best. Upper body discipline, lots of work with the lower joints, the least amount of movement for the most amount of ski performance on the snow. And all you ski instructors out there, notice the outside ski on edge and pressuring into the turn very early in the turn. And from skiing to snowboarding, the Austrians are leaving no stone unturned when they look at ski technique. And this is really indicative of what the Austrian demonstration is all about because there's so much history here, but at the same time, they are at the leading edge of what's going on in the ski industry all around the world, and snowboarding is a totally happening phenomena. It's here to stay. Now we see a short radius skiing formation with the team here. Lots of discipline with the upper body. The work is being done with the smaller joints in the lower body. Look at this, a T formation, obviously for Tyrol, the skiing province of Austria, a very patriotic moment here. Indeed it is because they've just changed to the A, obviously for Austria. They've done a great job in starting off interski. Now let's go to Chris Robinson in the finish, who's with one of the Austrian team members. Austria is the host country, and of course, this is a demonstration that everybody's been waiting to see. I'm with Egon Herziger, who's one of the top demonstrators for the Austrian team. And Egon, tell me about the use of the old and the new techniques in your demonstration. Uh, in our demonstration, we showed a lot of uh, ski history. In the early years, uh, wasn't uh, not so important uh, what uh, terrain you had or what situation they made every time a big uh, movement and that's uh, what changed. Uh, move uh, your legs as less as possible, ski and econ economically, use your energy to ski the whole day.